Okay. Now that everyone has written something about themselves, now you're going to ask your partner these questions, and you need to write down the responses. So you're going to write down what they say. So for instance, topic, you're going to ask Mustafa, how often do you study English? Mustafa will tell you, I often, or I hardly ever, I never, I sometimes study English. Okay? And you would write down his answer. So let's do an example. Uh, Andy, how often do you eat apples? Singular or plural? Singular or plural? Well, not quite. 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 Not Versus the third person put, singular. We don't put us on the first um, That's person. That's right. Yes. And for the correct person, we put us. Very good. That's right, Sterling. So for our first person singular, we're not going to add an S to the verb, right? But for the third person singular pronoun, we have to add an S to the verb. That's the difference. Okay. So. I always exercise. No S. He always exercises. We have an S. He often eats apples, right? And that's because we're using he. If we use she, it's the same thing. She often eats apples. She always exercises. Okay? So 
Again, when you're writing down your partner's answers, make sure you add an S. Okay? All right, yes, Alexis. If you put she, you put is. You put is. Okay. And same thing. Yes. So if it's she, he, or it, I'll say she it. eats. Yeah. Apple. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So she eats apples. Okay. It eats 